guys? Welcome back to Top Tier Arcade. My name is Steve, and we're in my parents' basement. Uh, we today are going to be attempting the restore of the 1971 Gottlieb Play Ball. If you don't know the story, long story short, I have my mystery pinball pickup video if you want to see the entire thing and how it came to be. A, uh, someone that I met on set uh, emailed me years ago, or sorry, that I met years ago and emailed me saying, hey Steve, I have a machine, I'm going to drop it off to you, we'll do a consignment deal, whatever you get for it, value-wise, money-wise, whatever, we'll go halves, and uh, I trust you and go ahead and restore it. So this is going to be a great opportunity to learn both the mechanics of the EM and just cleaning the play field and those techniques I later want to use in my own games. There's kind of no fault. I mean, the worst case scenario, if I totally shit the bed, I just sell it as is for whatever, and I move forward. My parents are in Greece, like I said, and, um, you know, so they don't have to be always watching and saying, Stevie, what are you doing? Again, old Greek parents, they always think, why well, you have this garbage? It's garbage. Yeah, whatever. So, uh, what I'm going to, I'll let me pick you up. And I'm going to show you kind of the tools of how I'm being prepared. My parents' tablet is being charged and ready if I need it as a quick reference. Beautiful CRT that's going to be mine when I move out. Uh, dehumidifier because it's hot as hell. HVAC, which I'm sure my parents are thrilled I'm going to be sucking up, you know, 50-year-old dust. Um, I have plastics. Thank you, Dino, uh, for helping me out there and because uh, he had spares. And uh, bulbs. All my glass stuff, that's the game plan, kind of how I'm going to be doing everything. I've kind of, like, mapped it out, like, you know, uh, like a bank robbery. How I'm going to do everything and what steps. Uh, more parts, believe it or not. Uh, yada yada cleaning. That's going to be the garbage. I have my um, old uh, laptop. That's going to be kind of for pin side and for music. And a quick check of the game. How we sit. Okay, play ball. And then from top to bottom. Now I've removed obviously the plastic. So that's why they look like that. So then I can get the sizes of the... Um, the rubbers, there's not a lot here. I went to Eddie's uh, last week and I, uh, again, called in a few favors and again, just checked some rubbers. And uh, Dino ended up giving me them anyways and, um, you know, get in the size. Um, I have to also go inside here and do that. So what I'll do is cut away. And now there's a couple trains of thought. Do I, my game plan was, do what you know, Steve, because the momentum. The momentum is, okay, restore is going well, you want to keep doing it, you want to continue. And others are saying, no, you should fix it first, then clean it. The reason why I want to clean it first, because when I'm in there, is a lot of EMs kind of clean themselves, because the switches and the contacts are kind of, you know, switch, you know, they're not oxidized and they're cleaning themselves the more it plays. So I do really want to clean it up first and again, create that momentum and feel good about the restore and how it's going. And I'm, so first thing I want to do is uh, depopulate the play field. And so then I can, you know, clean it properly and do everything and then take, you know, a few videos to do this, I think, I don't know. And we'll go from there. It's a bit, uh, that's better. And we'll go from there. And that's where I'm going to start. So I'm going to set you up. Um, I'll probably do just a quick montage of me kind of racing through it. And then later I'm going to put all the parts, probably going to move all this. And I'm going to put all the parts there. And you know how I'm going to do it? Do you see how this, this is plexi by the way, so don't worry. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to pretend this is the play field. And when I depopulate it, I'm going to move everything like this is the play field. So I kind of remember where everything is. And of course, I have pictures and video. So I'll be back again. There'll be some montages. There'll be some updates in between. And we'll see what we can do with this EM.
film too, too much. It's the same rinse and repeat. Uh, we're pretty good. We're pretty good here. Now, pop bumpers and flippers are really the only thing on here. The ball guys I'm going to leave. Take them on, doing them honestly is, I just don't find it's worth it yet. It'd be nice. I mean, I can polish them on here, which I will, but um, I'm not going to, um, I think I'm good as far as the top part. You see me on the back glasses uh, vacuuming that. Um, I'm not sure, now this is, I know, kind of more an amateur thing. Because the pop bumpers and the flippers were working great, and strong and great when I just quickly turned it on to see before I started this uh, I might just leave them on and just clean and around them like because the this can thing this flap I can just clean under really really well and I think I'm gonna leave them now again I know it's not a proper restore normally I mean to do it per perfectly you'd have to take everything off you know re um, you know clean and touch it up it's just honestly not worth it and the truth is you know, the play field's in pretty good shape. I'd say maybe around in seven and a half, eight out of 10. Um, I'm gonna just clean it. I've taken off a lot of that. But what I'm going to do is, you know what? Let me, uh, let's do it now. Can I just take the play field out? It's probably only like one. Yeah, isn't it like a Jones plug only? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna see if I can just take the entire play field out and uh, set it just there and then work on the inside because I haven't even looked what's in the bottom. So why don't we do that? I'm going to see if I'm going to attempt to uh, remove the play field. So I've removed the play field actually very easy. There's just two Jones plugs that are in there and they're very stiff. So you obviously probably haven't ever removed. Remove those and then there's the uh, play field there which is nice. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'll get to the, uh, the bulbs obviously and uh, I'll start to clean the back and uh, those Jones plugs as well. So here's the inside of the machine. I'm gonna kind of do a, uh, a panoramic here. Now, for some Americans or people that don't know, do you see something dangerous that I've just shown? Now, it's very dirty. Um, I'm gonna probably vacuum it now. Before I uh, answer my own question, um, I want to remove this. I want to remove this. So apparently all it is is these big screws, like that one, that one, and whatever. And then I want to really clean it up, clean the sides, really scrub it down. I'm gonna, I have a little uh, plastic razor blade or whatever. I'm going to just clean this up while I have it. Um, the one thing that's dangerous that you may not know about, and you're thinking, well, what do you mean? How am I filming this? Um, really quick, you see that white thing under this black thing? Sounds weird. So really quick, you know, I'm moving this here. That's a transformer, which you may not see in a lot of American games and under it is actually a sheet of asbestos. Quick story, apparently in the 70s, there was a technician a uh, pinball tech that shocked and killed himself by being a conduit between two machines. And the Ontario government, which is our province, and if you're not familiar with that is, it's like a state, but in Canada, and the one I currently live in, we're in Toronto, um, there was a mandate that there had to be a transformer to then, you know, send the voltage there so it doesn't kill someone and also an anti-fire, and that's why they put a sheet of asbestos. Now, asbestos, because I've, I've spoken to older gentlemen that actually remove it for a living, and they said asbestos is not bad, it's the fibers that when you, um, when you like, uh, play with it, and like when it's in the air. So I'm gonna wear a few different masks. masks. I wanna remove the asbestos. Uh, I'll probably leave the transformer on for now, and then maybe, I'm not sure, I, I don't know 100%. And uh, I want to remove it and I'll be back and show you that. So a quick history about that. Again, that's my understanding about why it's there. And you can even tell, and you might say, oh, Steve, look. So do you see this? I know the angle's all weird. Do you see where it says there, Ontario Hydroelectrical Approval? 
Well, that sticker, they had an inspector come out and say that they had to be, that sticker was there. It's almost like a fire extinguisher. They have to come and sign off saying, yes, it's, uh, it's um, safe. Same thing. So they did that in Ontario. So a lot of games from Ontario, our province has that asbestos in it. And my Atlantis, really quick story, has asbestos paint. So instead of that sheet, look, looks like a dryer sheet, like a bounce dryer sheet, uh, fabric softener thing, it's paint around the, uh, the fuse blocks and whatever. So interesting little story there, kind of sucks because it's dangerous. So again, I'm gonna wear a mask. I won't really, I'm gonna be very careful and just kind of pick it up like very daintily. Is that a word? And then um, I guess just throw it away and wrap it up in a Ziploc bag and tape it so even in the garbage or whatever, it's not gonna be tampered with. Oh cool, I just saw there's a schematic there. Huh, okay, anyway, so yeah, uh, I'll be back and I'll have that removed and then I'll probably do a montage of me cleaning out the machine and hopefully maybe there's goodies under there, who knows. Okay, so I've removed the, I've moved the transformer as you can see back there and I've taken the asbestos, it was just a clean sheet, it didn't rip, which is nice, I didn't whatever. I am wearing my mask, like the blue one, kind of like the COVID one. And I've rem I'm removing, I'm gonna remove the, uh, the bottom part here. Now, a bit of an annoyance, uh, because this is part of the, the under play field thing or whatever, uh, the, like the mechanical parts, it's connected to the, um, the chime box. And unfortunately, there's no quick ACE connectors, they're soldered. So in order to remove this whole thing, I have to unsolder this, which is the power button. But like I said, it's easily, I can see it. I've taken pictures and whatever of where they go, so we should be good. That's the only thing I'm gonna have to, for now, solder and desolder. Everything else had an, an ACE connector, an, a spade connector, whatever it's called. All right, so, the, oh, and uh, shit. Let me show you. What I've done is I've sealed, well, I will be sealing. This is the bag of asbestos. Um, I'm leaving it there for now in case I find anything else and I'm gonna wrap that up and vacuum seal it and then throw it away so no one is ever exposed uh, again so I will be back and I'll show you what it looks like underneath uh, this uh, mechanical part so I just removed this portion here uh, like I showed you but like an idiot and also this is a good thing that I'm learning and this is the whole kind of point of this and also to restore it is, I'm learning. So here I am to go to take out the play field, I'm like, or the bottom part, I'm like, oh shit, there's more uh, wires connected to all that. The fuse, the uh, coin counter, another, and then the tilt, and I'm like, no, 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 I'm not gonna undo that. So what I will do, because I don't wanna, un it's not really even worth it, is the good thing, this, removing this was okay. It was actually a little mandatory. Uh, but if you could see under there, it's actually pretty clean. Kind of a shitty angle now that I'm doing it one-handed. Well, that's not bad. So what, I'll, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, remove that vacuum around it and then find any goodies. <laughs> One thing I found is a Canadian penny from 1983. It's uh, almost as old as I am. So interesting. Uh, yeah, so honestly, not a big deal. Uh, I'm gonna like spot clean it on there and vacuum. It would be nice to take it out and do the whole thing, but I'll just shift it around and move it. Like I said, remo removing all those plugs, it would be a pain in the ass. I've already removed uh, these, which you know probably has another five minutes, but I'm gonna take these chimes off, clean them, and everything else. So uh, I'm gonna just start to vacuum. I'll stop if I si find something interesting. And uh, yeah, I will be back. So again, live and learn. Follow the chords first before you start to attempt to do anything. Because like I said, that's, it's, it's tedious. But the good thing is I can get it up and, like, and move it like and turn it like this. You know, I can actually, you know what? Yeah, that's great. I can, I'm going to just move it from side to side. And uh, it's going to work out just fine. Ah, shit, now what? I, oh, it's on the, see that transformer, it's okay. All right, I'm gonna be back. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna vacuum everything out. I won't
So I vacuumed the inside as you just seen in the montage and actually cleaned up pretty well. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is get a scouring pad and uh, just soapy uh, degreaser uh, like uh, just soap and then a J cloth to um, to uh, rinse it out and just rinse it in that bucket and then I'll use just a paper towel to quickly dry and let it air dry. Here's what I've found in the bottom. So the great thing is I've found one of these nail pins that I needed for the um, for the play field. I found all these little stickers. I think I saw a few more in the head and uh, some parts that I also need as well. I don't know what this is. It looks to be almost like a crack pipe or like a hat. <laughs> what the hell is that? Is that like crack? I mean, uh, what is that? Is that a, like a destroyed? Um, looks like a vial. What the, what is a heroin? I don't know. I'd be curious to wonder, but anyways, I'm going to throw it away. But yeah, a few little things I found, a magnet, whatever that's for. And uh, what I'll do now is I, I won't montage it, so I'll, uh, I'll come back. As you can see, again, it cleaned up really well. Really, really nice. And again, you know what? Disconnecting that was not even necessary. This one I would have had to anyways. So I actually feel like I didn't make a mistake at all, but I did learn. I'm going to really wipe everything down nice. I'm going to take the uh, plastic, um, what's it called? Uh, the plastic razor and just clean that up. And then I'll take the, I'm going to, I'm going to see how the scouring pad is. And if it actually takes the paint away, it might, but I'm going to just clean up here and let me, you know what? Let me do this. So I don't have to, shit, danger. So I don't have to keep going back and forth. I'm going to do a quick panoramic and then I'll do it when it's clean. So it's going to probably be an hour or so. Plus, again, I want to take a little break of filming because I find more of the time filming and less of the time restoring, which uh, I hate to say, but I'm more than happy to show the progress. I'm very excited. It's going pretty well. Again, I'm going to clean all that up. I'm just doing a roundabout here. I took the lock out uh, as well because I have another one. All right, and then again, I'm just doing this, so I'm going to do the exact same thing when I come back. I have not cleaned the back of the head yet. I will. And then again, inside, I'm going to clean all that. And I'll show you how it looks in just a moment. Shit. So, not bad. It's actually coming, cleaning up pretty nice. Um, and again, just so I don't keep cutting away, it's probably annoying. Oh, also... I know this looks brutal. There's a thing called Peak. It's a it's a Peak Clean Polishes Metals. Uh, it's from the UK. I, hopefully there's still, it's not dried out. And that really helped me clean up all my games when I did light restores when I got them. So again, I'm going to clean all this down and I will be back. And let's see the difference. And, uh, and, and then, oh, and really quick, I'm also going, I haven't done it yet. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to also take the lights off and everything there and have everything ready um, to be, you know, cleaned and waxed and whatever else. So I'll be back. All right. So it's been a bit. Went upstairs. I'm going to just about to go eat. And I uh, found a few more parts. In the, um, I mean, cleaning it really well. I'm going to show you in a sec. But I took out the coin mechs just to clean them out. And there was four quarters stuck in there and in there. And then in the coin mechs. I took the coin mechs out, as you can see. And there was quarter stuff in there. And there was one from 19, yeah, 1972, literally a year after this came out. So that's really cool. Um, let me show you the progress. Look at the sides now. That was me. I just smeared something, but it's uh, cleaned up really nice. But more importantly, I took out the transformer right there because it's annoying and it's heavy as hell. Look how nice and clean it is. I'm still waiting it for it to dry a bit. This is glue. But uh, cleaned up really, really nice. Getting the smell out. It looks beautiful. I'm very happy with the progress. Um, and everything's looking great. I'm airing it out. I'm going to just put this on its, so, like, down. So the only thing left to do with this is I'm going to clean... I'm going to clean the back side. You see this? I'm going to get in between like I did here. It looks beautiful. I'm going to do the same on the top side and in the middle. I'm going to just go oh, already did that. So I'm going to clean that. 
I've cleaned the cab. I know there's uh, it's still whatever, but again, now it's kind of shiny. And uh, I'm still working on the coin to overlook it. It's way, way better than before. Uh, actually, damn, it looks really good like that. But there's still I still want to polish it up. And uh, next video, let me actually set you up and uh, probably say my goodbyes. I'm going to be doing a one take because the barbecue has been lit and I got shit to do. And again, I don't overwhelm myself. So, yeah, man, uh, great start. Like I said before, normally you'd think you'd fix it and then clean it. I'm doing it the reverse. What I know is, I know that I know to clean, it's working. Uh, still want to touch it up. I've removed a lot of the metal parts and they're, they're behind the camera there. I removed, uh, I want to clean the under the play field. So next is going to be cleaning this, cleaning the play field, cleaning the plastics and all the other parts, the posts and everything. I'm going to put them in like a grease, uh, degreaser bath, clean the coin mix, clean everything. And then I'll start to then clean the play field, which is going to be exciting. Clean that up and then polish it repopulate the play field. This probably is going to be in the next one or two videos and then hopefully try to get it to work. I, like there was a few stuck switches and I've been playing around with so hopefully that will get it done, plug everything in the way it is, turn it on in the next few videos and see if it works and see if we can get this up and running. In the meantime, I'm uh, calling in a few favors. I already got, again, the I got incandescent bulbs for now just because keep it original incandescent bulbs uh, I got, I'm going to get glass, so a buddy of mine is hooking me up with glass, um, and I'm going to see if I can find a locked on bar, I got a few good leads, and a buddy of mine said he might be able to bend me with a galvanized metal, a back door, and I just put another lock, and I drill a hole, so I don't know, but it's going great, it looks great, I'm going to vacuum this out and put this down, and again, I did, I was probably at it for a good five hours, I did great work. I don't want to over like rush or anything or miss. It's a good time to stop. And if you guys haven't had a chance to subscribe, please do so. I got more coming out. Um, obviously, I want to see if you want to see how this turns out. I am as well. What happens when I turn it on when everything's clean? Hopefully, I can get it working and then either trade it, sell it, or do something with it. I don't know. But uh, it's been a pleasure. Let me know if you guys have any tips for me, uh, any pointers, anything uh, you can help me with. I'm more than Happy to take any feedback, and it's been a pleasure. All the best, and thanks for checking out Top Tier. Peace.